us back to another episode of Austria, where, as we know, we are fighting many different wars and many different things. Um, first off, we're going to declare war. We're going to... We have so many... God dang. I'm going to get this. And the reason why is because making a puppet... Honestly, making a puppet out of... Oh, by the way, Germany, I'm going to need your help. Really? Maybe? This is a tiny war. Come on, Germany. You guys can come in. Oh, Germany. That is so mean. Okay, Ukraine, you're going to have to come in. Yeah, you guys come in. And Greece, I'm going to need you guys. Call on my ally. These two guys should be able to defeat whatever is going on. With those two, with both Greece and Ukraine on my side, we should be able to win this. I would include Romania, but I kind of can't do much about Romania. Romania is kind of... I'm going to have to first settle, stabilize Romania, and then we can start dealing with Romania. Uh, but yeah. As you guys can see, we have a couple different things happening. Uh, I don't know why Two, Sic Two Sicilies hasn't started building up their own entire economic base. We are exploding in terms of economics, so I'm going to, like, decrease our economy by a little bit. Because I, I love having about 400. Okay, so about right there. 28. Wow, you guys are really being spoiled right now in terms of power. Let's see. Come on. Conquer. Conquer. Take back the main capital. Take back the main capital. Quickly. Quickly take back the main capital. Okay, because I don't really care about the rest of it. We could... Ah! Oh! Uh, we will restore order to our vassal. Yeah. Shoot. Okay. Well, as soon as we restore order back to... Uh... As soon as we restore order back to our other vassal of of uh, uh, Bulgaria, we'll go restore order back to these guys too. So let's just go and invade. Let's just use this land as an opportunity to just go and destroy whatever Romanians try to do stuff. I mean, Romania is going to try to be all like, yeah, we could totally do this. I'm just going to be like, no, you can't. I mean, when I actually, I have most of my army already in your land, because I was trying to save all my vassals, so, yeah, we're going to instantly crush you. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, there's really nothing else to say about it. Plus, I also need to keep building up more men. Let's go see, let's start building up a new European army. Make that our start of our new European army. Let's see. Let's see, we have all of our men. Gosh dang. I would be intimidated if I was... If I was this, uh, if I was Romania, if I was Bulgaria, I'd be really intimidated. By the way, when does my cause bell I run out? For, uh, uh, June 15th. Okay, I have ten, 10 years, so that means 10 years to the, to the side how I'm gonna deal with this. Hey, Germany, you wanna be friends again? Thank you. Now, please, I need you guys to kind of enter in some of these wars. Gosh dang. I really do need you. You're one of my buddies, and we need to be buddies together. And so you need to help me come conquer back all my land. Because basically what I'm basically what I'm doing is I'm claiming that this is all my land. I definitely don't want Romania. If Romania becomes free, by the way, it's going to be hell for me. Because then I'm going to have to start dealing with all these stupid, like, um, crises. I bet you anything, they're already starting. They're already starting. No, they haven't started yet. But I can only guarantee crises are going to start going up the wazoo if I don't start dealing with it now. So let's just start fighting this and Bulgaria you guys can go invade Greece all you want it's not really gonna help you at all because Greece is like to be honest not really that in, oh great two Sicilies is having difficulty too uh two Sicilies is a less of important I could probably care less about the revolt right now it's not too big to the point where I need to be caring about it uh Bulgaria versus Greece I'm gonna watch the battle for a little bit and see what happens I mean I want to see which one of my vassals is truly more powerful. Oil! Yay! Okay, wow, it seems like Greece ultimately takes the cake. They ultimately were the bigger and better people. So let's see, Greece is almost... I mean, not Greece, Bulgaria! There we go, is almost done for. We just have a couple more cities. I'm just going to help speed this across by putting... By uh, getting some... Getting some attrition, but speeding up the uh, seed process by a lot. It seems like Ukraine's also helping out. Good job, Ukraine. You guys are so helpful vassals. 
so glad I got you guys free. You guys are already, you guys are already like my favorite vassal. I don't know why. Like, if there was a national favorite vassal award, they'd be my favorite vassal. Okay, then you guys go right here. You guys ready? Yes. Okay. And now that you guys are now a part of my thing, you're now a satellite and in my sphere. Next, we need to get Romania back in our sphere. So make puppet, add in everyone. Yeah. Romania, I know you guys were trying to be all secretive about it. But no. Did everyone join in for once? I think everyone joined in for once. We didn't have one of my allies say no. Aw, oh, sweet. Wait. Oh, I wasn't allied. Apparently Germany said no. Well, that stunk. <laughs> Anyways, let's start invading again. Huzzah! And now that we... This actually was a better deal, because now I have Bulgaria. Uh, now I have Bulgaria as an actual, like, puppet state. Which I believe is actually way more beneficial. Because now I can actually control their army when I want to. And all the economic means goes to me. Which I like. I like all those things. Let's see. Let's go combine all you guys to make the new army right, right over here. Uh, World Trade Fair begins. Begins. <laughs> Classic. And let's see. We do have a slight big army of Romania. They're going to... I don't know what Romania is gonna try, but they're gonna try something, and I don't really care what they're gonna try because they don't. I don't really care. Jeremy, you guys have fully. We we fully become bros now, even though we go through this hot and cold relationship, the same relationship I go with with America. We're still bros, and we we know each other so well that we'll be friends. Even though I do have to rip you apart at some point, I think it's nice that we we kind of become friends at some point. So let's see. Take the whistle tour. Let's get some prestige out of it. Uh. I'm trying to siege down as many places as I can, but like I said, I kind of built this place up at the same time. So it's going to be a little bit harder than usual to siege down this vassal. But eventually we should be able to do it. Um, hey, would you guys like to join in? Probably not. If they're going to say maybe, then probably not. I mean, I don't want to do this if it's not 100%. Oh my goodness, I'm killing off all the, the spawn troops. That's so sad. That's so very sad. Okay. And upper house rearranged! Really, there's really no majority anymore in my house. I mean, literally, everyone's everything. And no one really likes each other. That's basically the composition of my house right now. <laughs> oh, gosh. I should not... Note to self, never embrace social reforms. But one time I do do it, it might cost me an entire game. Alright, let's see. I should be... Lots of little troops right over here. This is probably for that new army I was creating. So let's go right there. Go right there. Go right there. Go right there. And all you guys go right over here. Did I make over any over there? Made one over there. All right. He could be the sole protector of Mobazia. That way no one can get mad at us if we don't protect Mobazia. So we do protect Mobazia. Mombasa, I mean. Sorry. Mombasa. Let's see. We can get some more social reforms. Anything I really need to do? Uh, good pensions is like really really critical almost all my people really want that sure we could do that since we have such a high amount of income ooh and with that it's now time to give more taxes to the people because we need to keep about four there we go and yes we do tax you guys a little bit more but you guys get now good pensions so we're basically paying for a ton of people to just lay around and do nothing don't necessarily like that, and I don't like the fact I'm paying for people's health and goodwill, but uh, there's some, I guess there's some things that are important to this world, and I guess that is important. Let's finish this up. Let's finish up Romania. Romania gave a good little, you know, spiel about independence, but it's finally time for you guys to come back underneath my roof. Because as the world powers know, I am the leader, I am the control of the Balkans. It isn't the Ottomans and it isn't the Russians, it is the Austrians. The Austrians control the Balkans and we decide what we want in it and what we don't like in it. And if they try to, if any country tries to argue with me, I would love to see them try to do as much as we do in here. Alright, you guys ready to admit defeat? Yay! Huzzah! So there we go, you guys are back underneath my control, form an alliance, there we go. And then you guys form an alliance because I know you guys want to, there we go. 
and then we'll all become buddies here in about a couple hundred years. And there we go! We got all of our new little vassal states underneath our control. It took us a little bit, but we finally did it. And now I can start like spreading them out into their own positions. Because now we don't have to necessarily worry too much about Ukraine anymore. Because Ukraine is supposed to be a kind of semi-quasi puppet state. Or a buffer region. So we don't really have to care that much. But I'll keep some troops right over here. And yay! Where do I sign up? Uh, drinking by definition is responsible. Oh, I get this. I know what this one this is. Uh, militancy isn't really that high right now, so we could actually gain some liberal militancy. And man, we're having such a population boost. It's so awesome. Man, anything, anything right now is just so awesome. Except for the Qing. The Qing, I don't know how they kept together. They've never westernized, and they never did anything of notice, and yet they're still. Uh, we should begin integrating. Yeah, just keep integrating. If you must integrate, integrate. Everyone must become Austria-Hungary. It is the law. Um, and wow, we're making a lot more now. Decrease it by just a little bit. Let's go right about there. There we go. That should be about good. And yeah, as you guys can see, apparently our economy is now starting to flourish. Not to the extent of where the other great powers are, probably at this point in the game. Because Germany usually... If Germany forms, you usually can't win with Austria-Hungary in terms of like a uh, industrial power because Germany just smokes everyone. Yeah, you see what I mean? Germany just smokes everyone. The only person you could possibly beat is France or the United States or the UK. Those are the three nations that could probably keep up with Germany. Also, I guess Russia, but Russia usually does... Russia has its own problems to deal with, which is why we don't usually talk about it. And you guys go right there. Yeah, I, I'm forgetting where to spread out all my men. It takes so long to spare my main. By the way, do we have all of our integral parts? Good. And let's see. Oh my goodness. Electrical power, everyone. We're about to have electrical power. Wait for it. Oh wait. Excellent seminar. Then wait for it. Yay! We now have electrical power. We finally made it to the 21st century. Oh gosh, I am so happy to be in this lovely land that we live in called Austria. Let's destroy that, whatever that was. Oh man, who has the most craftsmen right now? I need to know who... Okay, right here, an Austrian Fezian. Oh, 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 let's see. Is this state finally ready to become mine? Colonial province. Oh my goodness. Okay, but it's definitely... The good thing about Benin is that it's definitely going to become an actual state. Which is I love. Oh. Um, did you just do that? <sighs> Dang it. Okay, stop investing into them. Let's invest a lot into these guys. Let's see, who am I investing into right now? Uh, we could probably invest into all these guys. Uh, Brazil, we could probably invest a little bit into. Romania, we could probably invest a little bit into. Uh, yeah, I don't really care about anyone else. So let's see, check out priorities again. Let's see, how much is that giving me? 2.95. That should be enough. That should be enough to beat whatever France is going to try. Because I do have more influence over there than they do. And I should be able to do a lot more than they can. Uh, shall we attend the games? Of course we shall host the games. I just realized it said host the games, not attend the games. Yes, we shall attend the games that are in our country. Because it would be really weird if the host country didn't actually show up in the Olympics. And I wonder what would happen at that point. Would there be like just a lot of gossip about that? Or would they actually have to stop the Olympics for the fact that some country didn't want to do that? I don't know. There's a lot of, there's a lot of, there's a lot of thought to that actually. Awesome. Okay, so people want 12 hour work days. Do we give them 12 hour work days? They, they can have 12 hour work days. I'm really. 12 hour work days, though, is probably where I'm gonna have to cut it down because anymore I'm probably gonna have to start wa waging up taxes. And now that we've waited enough time, now let's go build up some more artillery. Of course, most of our like artillery bands have actually been destroyed by now because, like, we're in. I was deleting them slowly but surely over time when I was watching this, so yeah, that's not exactly good, but who cares? Who cares? We have Ukraine right now doing its usual Ukraine stuff. I don't know what the... I, I love Ukraine so much right now. They're just, they're just like my little buddies. I, I just love them because they're just they're already so powerful. I know we can build up like a hundred troops. They already have a good industrial score. They... Oh, man. You guys are so going to be used against the mighty Russian Empire. Like, I could use you guys so much. 
Okay. And right now, we still have a long... I think we still got a long truce with France. Yeah, we still got two more years of non-war with France. And we've already destroyed... We've already broken up of what, of what nations we wanted to. So, I guess we could probably just take a break. Wow. That feels weird for me to say. Take a break. Hmm. Huh. Okay, by the way, I forgot to upgrade this island. This island is not exactly insanely important to me, but it is in some ways, in shape or form, going to save my country. So I better start making sure I upgrade everything and make sure everything is an integral part of the entire economy. Because I want to make sure every little part has upgraded uh, naval bases so that when I finally do get around to actually building a decent sized navy, it will be glorious! Right, you guys go down here so you guys don't die from like all the random encounters we sh we slowly have with Russia. So Russia is really scary when it comes to like militaristic might. And let's see, let's start checking around here and start ch checking to see which nations did not exactly, uh, I should say, industrialized? No, 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 no. Uh, westernized. Hmm. Think about, do we want to conquer anyone else? Siam would be an obvious good choice. And then we also have all of our land over here in Africa. Hmm. Oh, South Africa, you guys formed again! Huzzah! You guys took actually a decent amount of land, too. Wow. You guys are actually powerful right now? No. <laughs> you guys are completely weak. And let's see, let's check my spheres of influence. Mm hmm. Yes. My power is grown. My power is so powerful. And wait, Italy, climb down. Wait, what? <gasps> Canada! Canada, you're finally a great power! Yay! Yes! Canada is finally a great power. Yes! That is awesome. I think that's almost the most awesome thing I love to see in this series, is the fact that Canada became a great power. And we took out Italy from being a great power, may I add. So, not not just bonus points, eh? Just bonus points. Let's see. France right now is... Yeah, I'm definitely winning right now in terms of that weight. In terms of that race right there in Spain. Because I've had Spain the longest, so, like, I get extra bonuses with them. Plus, I built up a lot of their economy, so... Oh my goodness! Ireland's also... What? Wait, what? Oh, shoot. Hey, wait! Oh, shoot. Um... Okay, I, I need to do something. Why are you guys at war with, uh, dismantle, uh, Ireland becomes a puppet of the United Kingdom? I don't like any of those things. Is there any way I can defend this? Uh, we cannot join this war in order to intervene. A nation targeted war goal needs to be at least friendly opinion with us. No! No, this is so awesome! Ireland formed! Why are we not friends? Why are we not friends? Oh gosh, if I had known this earlier, I would have so saved them. Well, um, the best way they could probably fight this is if Britain just never lands any troops on the main continent. And that somehow the Irish actually hold out that way. Um, they have absolutely no military though. So most likely these guys are going to get back underneath the British sphere pretty quickly. Uh, I, I guess this is the end of the Irish Rebellion. It was... Tough fought, I guess. I. Wow. <laughs> Just wow. The one time I've ever seen Ireland form in a game is the one time I can't do anything to help them. And in that kind of sad wisdom, I want to thank you guys for watching. It was a good episode today, the first chapter. Yay! Forming a first and slay. We did a lot of good things in today's episode, like the fact that we finally have Bulgaria underneath our roots completely. They are now officially just a vassal of ours. Also, Romania is now just officially a vassal of ours. They do have some national agitation, probably, of us, you know, taking them over, but... Free Corps, uh, no, prevent the organization from doing anything. I'm definitely not allowing fascism into my country, because I feel like it would grow very rampant and quite powerful, because my country is kind of fit for fascism. So, yeah, let's not do that. Uh, Upper House Arrange, let's see. Separatist, fascist, yeah, you see what I mean? The fascists are always 6.13 of my country. I mean, really, I have a very diverse and, po and politically divided country. Look at this. 
literally almost everyone, the only ones that really take the cake are these two, but like, wow. And we also have the social liberals and the separatists, which are kind of an annoying faction. But anyways, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. This has been a fun Let's Play. We're in 1812, and I basically got a lot of spheres unsphered, and I'm doing a lot of good things for myself. So I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.